Well, I hope you're hungry, because we're gonna talk about feeding vinyl straight on your plotter. That's stupid. Let's do it again. If you wanna figure out how to feed vinyl straight through your plotter, stick around. There we go, that's good. Why is that better? You know, because vinyl's sticky. So there's three considerations for aligning your vinyl on your plotter. The first most obvious one will be feeding the vinyl straight through your plotter. Uh, obviously, we would want to be using the front and rear rulers to ensure that it's in alignment. However, the other two uh, considerations could impact this. The next one would be the roll's position on the rollers. It can drift as it's being fed through, which can take your vinyl out of alignment. Those are going to be the two issues that we're going to address in this video. The third would be your roller pressure. Uh, it, you have multiple rollers feeding your vinyl through, and if the pressure is inconsistent, it can cause your vinyl to shift out of whack. So if you feel that that's an issue, you would want to reach out for your manufacturer's specific directions on how to adjust those rollers. So when tackling blade alignment, I find it easiest to uh, handle both the alignment and the roll being uh, stationary, um, taking care of both of those at the same time. Uh, because they do impact each other. Um, addressing only one of those would just get you right back to where you started uh, the first time you cut. So um, here I'm working with a 28 inch vinyl plotter. Uh, I use 24 inch vinyl. So uh, where you might line that up seems like it could be kind of loose. However, the carriage takes up about four inches of your cut capacity. So really, even though it's a 28 inch plotter, I really can only cut uh, just a hair under 24 inches. So I found that my uh, parking spot for my blade uh, ends up being the right extreme of where it can cut and it parks itself there every time. So I personally prefer to align my vinyl on that blade. So as you can see right now, uh, my vinyl is shifted over to the left of that. Uh, what we would want to do is shift the roll of vinyl itself over until the edge of that vinyl is on that blade. Um, and then I am going to play with this for a moment. And what I'm going to try to do is align myself where I have the same measurement on the front ruler as I do on the rear ruler while being straight under the blade. And then I'm going to play with feeding it out and uh, ensuring that my roll seems to be somewhat in alignment there as well. And then we will go on to the next step. So in that process there, I was able to determine that my blade seems to be approximately at 15 sixteenths of an inch. Uh, I found that the vinyl when at 15 sixteenths on the rear, 15 sixteenths on the front seemed to be right underneath the blade. So I'm going to do future me a favor and I'm going to mark that uh, because I will not remember 15 sixteenths of an inch. Um, what I did by feeding it back and forth helped me kind of determine or approximate where the roll should be on the rollers. Uh, and we're going to address that next. But first, uh, before I move on, I'm going to go ahead and mark that uh, spot on my rulers uh, with a piece of painter's tape. So I'm actually going to mark on the side of the ruler that I would not be able to use. And I'm going to have the edge of the tape just line up with the edge of the vinyl. Uh, what this is going to do is it's going to help me for the remainder of my process, but uh, more importantly, down the road when I run out of vinyl and I have to restock, uh, it should make that a pain-free process whenever I reload it. If you're finding any of this information beneficial, it would mean a lot if you would subscribe to my channel. All right, so I've got my 15th, 16th of an inch marked on both the front and the rear rulers. Uh, I took the extra step of writing the measurement onto the tape since it is just painter's tape and it could fall off or you know be moved over. So I will be going back after this video and rewriting that in pen so it won't uh, fade away. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to realign the vinyl uh, with the uh, marks and then I'm going to play with the position of the roll on the rollers and feed it back and forth a little bit to find out approximately where that roll should be. And then I'm going to be installing shaft collars. So uh, I've got links to these underneath the video. Um, 
I do want to mention that the diameter of your roller can vary based on the make and model. So I personally have a one and a quarter inch diameter roller. So that is the measurement I'm going to be looking for as the inner diameter on the shaft collar should match that. So basically the idea here is I'm going to be clamping it on each side of the vinyl roll to keep it from being able to shift. So then if the vinyl is fed straight, the roll is positioned uh, properly, these uh, shaft collars will keep your vinyl roll from shifting, which should keep you in alignment unless your rollers are uh, unequal pressure and that you would address the manufacturer. So with the shaft collars, I do want to mention you're not going to be wedging that roll very tight. Uh, if you do, what will happen is it will actually prevent the roll from rotating and then it will pull the roller out of the plotter. So all you're looking for is just a little bit of slop. Uh, it doesn't have to be very precise uh, because if it fit, fades over to the side by about sixteenths of an inch, uh, you wouldn't really notice that on the end result. Um, so I'm going to install those and uh, I'm going to be playing with it uh, afterwards, feeding the vinyl in and out to test it over a few feet. I will be staring at the measurements and seeing if it drifts at all. And if so, I will just be uh, continuing to fine tune until I f uh, feel I'm in alignment. And then I will clamp these down and um, I should be good to go from there. So let's get to it. So stumbled across a couple uh, tips that I'd like to pass on is one, the tape uh, being on the outside of the vinyl ended up being a tremendous help. So I'm actually able to butt the vinyl up against the tape and it helps me kind of feel that I'm in position rather than just continuously just looking for that alignment. So uh, I've got that going. And then when I was attempting to feed it back and forth, it was very close, but not quite. And when feeding it back out and taking extra care not to get the dust of my shop onto the vinyl, uh, I actually uh, noticed that when the vinyl is extending out of the plotter and laying over the roll, that's helping you uh, align the roll to the vinyl. So by feeding out a bunch of slack, this part that's hanging over it, rather than going straight to the roll, because the roll could kind of shift and steer the vinyl, but where this has no uh, tension on it and it's feeding over, I'm able to see that I am perfectly in a line here. So I am going to take this opportunity to go ahead and snug up those collars and make sure they're not too tight on the roll. And then I will again just test the alignment by feeding it in and out and roll it back up. And from there we should be really close or done. All right, and I think I've got there. So uh, I got very close and I thought I was done and in feeding the vinyl either a little further or rolling it back up, uh, I saw that it would start to drift. And um, so I'm kind of finding that about like 10 or 15 feet uh, is a reasonable test to uh, determine if you're there. Um, this would probably be a place where you would want to say uh, close enough. You just want to stick with it until you've got it uh, pretty well dialed in. Otherwise, you'll continuously be realigning your vinyl after each cut. Um, however, um, I think I've really got a system that's going to work well for me. So I've got the tape to help align that vinyl. And now I've got those collars in place uh, to where it should be easy to set down uh, a roll of vinyl, feed it through, align with those two pieces of tape, clamp it, and be good to go. So I'm going to just do one final little test here. So. Uh, over here where I have the uh, 
you know, the, the ruler visible, I'm going to just feed it a few feet and just make sure it doesn't drift. And then I'm going to feed it back and make sure it doesn't drift uh, in that direction either. And if we are good to go, then that'll be the end of the video and I'm going to go cut some vinyl. So anyway, thanks for joining me on this. And if you found any of this information beneficial, uh, it does greatly support me uh, to uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you'd be interested in uh, turning on notifications, you'd be notified next time I have a new video. Thank you very much.